Hey Divers, how are you guys doing today? Okay, I'm Roberta Igezo, welcome to my channel. So today, okay, so I'm going to go through anatomy and physiology for Hexi V1. Yeah, for today, yeah. So for Hexi V1, AMP. Mm -hmm. But first of all, before we start, I really want to apologize to you guys for this coming late. I know I've been promising to do this for a week right now. I've been procrastinating. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm starting right now. Okay, for Hex V1, you still have to know your body systems, like the 11 body systems. Yeah, you still have to know that too yeah so the eleven systems like the nervous system the integumentary system the re respiratory system the excretory system muscular <laughs> reproductive circulatory um lymphatic i guess i'm missing something i don't know but yeah endocrine system yeah i don't know why i'm always forgetting this particular one okay then i asked to like um the bones of the skull is known as Remember that the skull is part of the axoskeleton, so you know the answer now. Axial. Yeah, you got that. Also, remember a question about wound healing. Remember, it's from bleeding, which is the um, hemostasis to inflammatory and then to proliferative and then remodeling. Also, remember your bones, what is stored in your bones, the nutrients. Remember, it's calcium and phosphorus. Yeah, and remember something that's some kind of pistol relating to this. Mm -hmm. I'm also remember your white blood cells, the types of white blood cells is five in number. I remember the first three with Ben, B E N. I remember that in class. So B E M, basophil, eosinophil, um, neutrophil, and the last two is monocyte and lymphocytes. Remember that. Yeah. Um, hey guys, don't forget to know the organizations of the body, okay? From the organelles to the cells, from the cells to the tissue, from tissue to organ, organs, from organ systems to organisms, and then to populations, and then to community, and then to ecosystems, and, and then to... Um, to biosphere. Hey Diver, don't forget to know your bone, you know where the diaphysis is, where the epiphysis is. For example, if someone broke the, the, the distal part of the bone, remember that you know what. Um, don't forget to know your types of joints, where the hinge joint is, where the ball and socket joint is, okay? Don't worry, you will do great, trust me. You when I talk about the bones, remember that particular bone that doesn't um articulate with any other bones remember that is hyoid bone and um, also remember that particular structure that is being shared um with the um digestive and the uh, respiratory system this is the pharynx and also remember the dna replication remember that a will always pair with t and g will always pair with c at gc remember that guys this is the point where the um, body system comes in play okay always remember where your bones are located this is the humerus radius ulna okay so for example when they ask you like if someone hurts his arm which type of bone what type of bone is that so this is the arms so it's either he hurts his radius or the honor i um, know your glands the sebaceous gland the product is something um, the product that is okay can i talk I was saying before the sebaceous gland and the ceremonious gland. Um, I can't pronounce it right, but it's apocrine gland. Okay, no their function. Like they might ask to like um um the ear wax when it accumulates too much in your ear. Which part of the ear does it stay? Remember, it's the external ear and the ear canal. The ear wax. And also remember the the nervous system. The two types, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. Always remember when your cardiac output increases or decreases. Yeah, between those two. Always remember the structure that attach your brain to your spinal cord. And also the structure that transport your wheel to the bladder. Okay, know your DNA. Um the function, know your your the the structure that attaches bone to bone. And muscle to muscle. Um, know your aerobic respiration, the product or something like this, lactic acid or something like that. Know the the watches sometimes in your eye, the aqueous hemo. 
I not so remember the types of transport system, the active transport system and the passive transport system. Also remember which one requires the ATP. Of course, you know it's the active, right? And so and so remember the types of body feedback, you know the negative feedback and the positive feedback. So remember the difference, like examples, like something like that. Um, don't forget to know your bone ossification process, okay? From callus formulation to to cali. Oh gosh, okay, hematopia formulation. Oh gosh, let me start again. Okay, um, hematopia formulation to callus, from callus to um to ossification and then to bone remodeling. <sighs> yeah, I got it right. Don't forget your blood circulations, the valves in your heart, the mitral valve, and the tri 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 -scoop. The other type of valve. I don't, I don't always forget about this. Um, know where your mitral valve is located? It's between the left ventricle and the and the left atrium, right? <gasps> I got it right. Yeah, yeah. I remember something like bad vomer or something like that. Vomer is remember it's in your nose. So, like example, when someone hits you on the nose, remember it's a vomer that gets damaged. Don't forget to you know the first bones that are formed. During the intermembranous <laughs> ossification. <gasps> yeah. I must remember to know where your red blood cells are formed. Um, is it your bone marrow? I know you get that right. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Um, mm. uh, what about what is the holo 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 organ? Right? Is your gold bladder? <gasps> yeah. Holo holo. <laughs> She's crazy. Okay, let's try this one. Where does fertilization first occur? <gasps> Philippian tube. <laughs> that, that's the answer. And hey, what about um your fingerprints? Okay, come take your balloon, okay? Your fingerprint, what's what is it made up of? I'm not gonna tell you that. Go read it out. <laughs> Don't forget to know the functions of your ADH, anti-diuretic hormone. And also, don't forget about the posterior and anterior part of the pituitary gland, the hormone. Don't forget your sleeping hormone. Um, I me, mean, I've forgotten about it. Okay, just remember that. And also, there's one for neurotransmitter, the serotonin. Remember the function? Hey, don't worry. You're going to do great, okay? right and don't forget to to read about the platelet its functions too finally there's this particular question that i will not forget the one with the carrot and squash remember that one the one with the vegetarian lady or something yeah, that's the answer to the carrot and squash <laughs> I knew it guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any more questions, please just leave it for me on the on, on the comment sections. I'll be willing to help. Okay. Thank you. You still worried? Oh come on. I know it's the exam fever, nervousness. Okay, I felt that too. Okay, don't worry, it's a great. Diversity. If you are feeling this nervousness or this, you know, butterflies in your tummy, also overwhelmed about this all this exam, okay, just stop, relax, and come back to this video and see if you can answer most of these questions, right? But if you are still getting it wrong, don't worry, okay, just relax. Go to this link on the description. Um, then most of these questions I'm asking, most of them are there, so it's like I'm just devising the question with you guys and also go back to your AMP book in class you did before you were a diva you're gonna find your way out okay you're gonna you, you can make it okay you can make an, a 90 90 something 100 i really wish you make a 100 oh my gosh i know you'll be so happy about it <gasps> i know and i'll be happy for you too but i really wish you would pass get the score you want i really advise you to watch this video like um if you are really trying to study okay it's okay to watch and go back and go come back and watch again see if you can answer these questions yes. please after exams please come by and tell me how you did it okay okay i know you're gonna do great go deeper you're gonna do great thank you guys
please subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and please leave a like if you like it okay thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome <laughs>